Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing on my channel for a really long time and it's going to be the occult box. So if you like to watch unboxings or want to hear about some gothic and alternative subscription boxes then do keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and i will get straight into it a cult box is a uk based gothic and alternative subscription box they usually alternate between like gothic themes and then also witchy themes i tend to buy the gothic themes i do have an cult unboxing playlist on my channel i'll link it in the eye for you i should have a few on there because i have unboxed quite a few of their boxes now but they do like their monthly ones and they sometimes do like limited edition one-offs as well so they've done like a self-care box before and they usually do like a dark valentine's box around january and that is the one that i will be showing you today so i did place my order on the 21st of January and it arrived yesterday which is the 27th of February so just over a month which was fine I expect subscription boxes to usually take like a month um this box was delayed however it was supposed to arrive before Valentine's Day I believe her name is Misha hopefully I'm saying that right the owner of a cult box was taken into hospital and had a lot of personal things going on so it was a bit delayed but I was happy to wait for this box. So this one cost £27 and shipping was £3.50 and I also ordered a Fiverr Friday mystery box as well. So I did get £3.20 off my total for the box, shipping and the Fiverr Friday mystery box. It was £32.30 which I feel like was a good deal. I do have a code, I believe it's simply spooky15 and it should give you 15% off your first box. So I'll put it on the screen for you here. So that's should take 15% off if you are a new subscriber so definitely use that code as it just lets them know that you have come from here <laughs> so yeah there is a code for you so I've got the box here which I'm really excited to open I've shown you like the mini one but they also because of the wait time put in one of these free gift mystery bags as well which was really really nice of them so i'll quickly show you what's in here and then i'll quickly go through the fiver friday box before i get to kind of the main box but in here is this it's like i don't know if i think it's a little card and it says the sun on it almost like a tarot card style so there is that there's also this little pumpkin key ring there's not like details on it but it's just like a gray kind of shiny acrylic doesn't want to face the right way <laughs> shiny acrylic pumpkin you can see the camera there <laughs> and then it's got this like pink tassel on it so that's cute but my favorite thing that they included was this now this was included in one of their previous boxes and i did really want to try this so this is by the brand black coffee worship the 666 blend <laughs> and it is basically ground coffee and then there's these like business cards in here which is from the brand i just thought the packaging was really cool and i haven't seen any really like goth coffee brands apart from them so i do follow them on instagram and i have wanted to try their coffee so i'm really excited that this was like in the free gift thing because it's something i can use and i love it when it's like spooky things that i can actually get use from so that was like the free gift so i'll go through this quickly and then i'll save like the best to the end <laughs> so in here is the five friday box it looks like this it looks like there's four things in here first off is a print it kind of looks like a coloring page to be honest but it does say it's by misha so she is the owner this was drawn by her it is cute but i do think it also looks like a coloring page <laughs> so there is this there's also this one that says believe in yourself it's like a little pin badge there's this it's like a little charm inside it says self-love charm it's got yarrow flowers marigold so it's this little charm with dried flowers inside and it's got like a sword or like a dagger pendant so there is this and then the last one is a bigger item and it looks like a pocket mirror or maybe a magnet okay so it's a pocket mirror so this is a kind of triple moon with some pentagram 
designs like the moon phases all around it so that's really nice and then on the back it's just a pocket mirror you can see around my room <laughs> so yeah i really like these pocket mirrors i got one of these in their vampire box and i use it like every day so i really really like these because they're big enough where you can actually see what you're doing <laughs> so yeah that was everything in the mystery box when you buy a mystery box you're not gonna like everything I don't think I would have purchased these items if I would have seen it, but my favourite item is definitely the pocket mirror because I would definitely get use out of that. I really regret not getting the Five of Friday mystery box that had the vampire pouch. I really wanted that. I don't know why I didn't get that. <laughs> but I really, really loved that one. Um, so yeah, this was okay. I'd say it would add up to five pounds, but that was the Five of Friday mystery box anyway. And now we get onto this one. So this one has like red ribbon and then it says dark Valentine's box on this sticker with skulls. I haven't seen what's inside here. So on top, the presentation looks really nice. It says a cult box and hopefully without dropping anything, I can show you how it looks. So it's got like this card on top is kind of burgundy shredded tissue with black rose petals those are really nice so on top it has this kind of card print it does look like it's been printed out it says your coffin or mine with like roses so there's that on top i thought that was like a contents card but there's nothing on the back and then yeah on top there are these like black rose petals which are really cute okay so this is a skull and rose purse i've actually seen these online <laughs> because i do i think we use the same wholesaler like when i when i do my mystery boxes and i've definitely seen this on there so this is like a kind of coin purse or a card purse i guess it looks black on camera but it does look a little bit more brown and i'd say the design looks a lot clearer on camera as well i think because of this like textured pattern it kind of makes the design look a little bit more faded i do like the design of this it's got like a skull and roses and it is double-sided and then it's got a zip and there's two sections on here with some like inner sections as well so these are the two main ones where you could put coins and you've also got these like side ones where you could put your cards or anything like that so that's always really handy there's also incense in here this says the lovers the lovers meaning partnership stulity and union i think is what that says so this says they are red rose they do smell really nice i'm honestly not a burner of incense i really like like wax melts and candles and that kind of thing um but the box of this is really nice with all the gold foiling and it's definitely on theme and you also get this which is nice because it has a hole you can put the incense in to burn it so that's really nice next up is this this looks like i'm not sure what this is actually i'll get it out <laughs> oh i've just seen a necklace and i i really like that <laughs> okay so there's a couple of things in here it's actually printed on really nice paper got like instructions this says self-love ritual kit and then it says a list of all of the things in here so it says self-love anointing oil which i think must be this one it says lang lang or ylang ylang <laughs> orange and patchouli essential oils in grapeseed oil i think you apply this to your skin yeah so this must smell really nice oh it says may be used to anoint candles to prepare your workspace i'm assuming you can put this on your skin it's got like a rollable so you must be able to like put it on like your temples or your wrists or something so that's nice it also says rose petals there's like this kind of test tube looking thing with a cork full of rose petals uh, it says sprinkle in your bath you can also use this as potpourri i think is how you say it um i'll definitely be putting these in my bath <laughs> and then it says self-confidence ritual and then it's got like a list of different things so the last two things included are a little heart-shaped candle which is really cute and also a piece of rose quartz which i guess makes sense for this box so there is a little piece of that. So that was everything in the ritual kit. I'll go for the necklace now. This is really cute. I really like this. This says 
till death and it's a coffin i actually did a till death design myself but i put it on like a heart with some skulls i really like this and it is made out of acrylic i love acrylic and it's quite a big necklace as well so it's printed on clear acrylic and then it says till death with all of these roses and it is on a silver chain there as well i really really like this i feel like lately i've had boxes with loads of like really nice earrings so it's nice to get a really cool necklace i think this is a bath bomb yeah so this says dark heart aromatherapy bath bomb it's a pink heart and it looks like it's got rose petals in it there as well and the sticker on here is really nice it says lang or ylang i think you don't pronounce the y and rose so yeah that would be very nice always love a bath bomb it looks like there's also some bath salts it says fragrance granules is this for the bath like a tube with all of these pink salt looking things oh, okay they're not for the bath this says love potion simmering salts ideal to use with oil burners so that's nice so we do have like a wax melt kind of thing i will smell these actually because these are quite easy to open it says they're in the scent midnight rose they don't really smell of rose to be honest they kind of look like um fish eggs <laughs> if you've ever had like that fish egg sushi like they look very much like that i don't know if i like the scent of that to be honest it doesn't smell like rose i'm not sure about that <laughs> oh it looks like there's a like a fabric item okay so there's three items left this one is a cherry scented air freshener it matches kind of this aesthetic with the skull the roses and the death head moth so i really like cherry scented things so i'm sure i will get use out of that as well and then there's something wrapped up in here and this bag i'll go for the bag first because i know what this is um it's like a tote bag it's actually a really nice quality one to be honest so this has like a coffin on with a rose um, and then it's got some fabric handles and um, there are like some loose threads off of this but overall the quality seems really nice um it's a lot thicker than the previous tote bags they did they did a dracula one that i keep in my bag and use all of the time it's a very very thin bag so this one is definitely nicer quality wise i would say it's a little bit on the plain side um it's a lot of like cream i think it possibly would have been better like with a black bag with a white print i feel like it would have had a lot more contrast um it's quite like simple with the fact it's a coffin like printed in the center i feel like even some designs around that would have looked quite cool but there is this item anyway and the last item is wrapped up in here i don't know what i was expecting but it definitely wasn't this it's like a, a glass ornament it's like a red heart and then it's got this black bat printed on top of it it's very very heavy and i think it is glass like the quality is nice i don't think you could put it against the wall because it's very very thick as you can see is it for a tree i'll show you it up close you can see like the bat's been printed on it's definitely like valentine's themed i'm just not sure what you would do with it apart from put it on like a christmas tree maybe that's what it's for I'm not too sure though so i'd say this box is definitely on theme i wouldn't say it's my favorite box but there's definitely some items that i really really like i'm not sure if i would prefer it to the last valentine's box i feel like the box that we got last year had a lot of really cool alchemy gothic items like one of the items was this rose box with it's like a heart-shaped trinket dish and i actually keep my rings in here and i use it every day and i love it and another item was an alchemy gothic coaster which again i use daily i do feel like there's less branded items in these boxes now like they don't include a small business anymore and stuff like that which i really did like from them in the beginning like i love to see which small business was going to be featured in, in each box um i'm not sure if that's down to cost or something like that i'm not too sure so i'd say my favorite item is probably the necklace i think it's really pretty um and i'll definitely get use out of the bath bomb um the other items i will get use out of like these things and the oil i think is really nice um I'm not an incense person the coin purse is nice so there's definitely some nice items in here and i would have liked these but i'm really not sure what that scent is it smells like like cleaning products 
I really don't know. I don't know what's happened to that. So yeah, it wasn't my favourite box, but I do think everything is on the theme and everything does look quite nice together sat on my bed here. So there's definitely items I really like and then definitely some items that I'll be selling. So I do have my Depop shop. I always have it linked in the description box. So anything that I sell from unboxings um, or hauls that I don't return in time, I do list on my Depop shop. So do make sure you are following me on there. That was the Dark Valentine's box from this year. You'll have to let me know what you thought of this box. Do you think it's worth the £27? So yeah, do let me know in the comments. But I will leave all of the links that you will need in the description box below. You can't get this box anymore, but if you are interested in any of the items that I might be selling, do check out my Depop shop. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye.